man oh man I never fucking beat this game yet seriously I'm like what the fuck you know but yeah this is Derek Yasha and today I'm going to review X-Men for the Super Nintendo yeah of course uh, you know let's begin off uh, mainly what, what the story is okay uh, the story is uh, mainly Apocalypse basically kidnapped um, you know the mutants of course and put them into this uh, this containment system or whatever it is like this uh, these cells and of course that they're trapped on this island okay so pretty much uh, the X-Men team the blue team of course has to go and re rescue the mutants off of this island that's it for the story okay let's get into gameplay okay if you go into the training mode um, you get three lives, and of course that you get to pick from Beast, um, Cyclops, Roverine, Gambit, and of course Psylocke. Okay. Now you know they give you um, you know a special button attack in the training mode. Okay. But in the actual game, you have to learn these attacks basically by doing a Street Fighter pattern move. Okay. You know how you do the Street Fighter attack moves, like a Hadouken or whatever. Okay. Basically, you have to learn that. But uh, I think they should have left the, the third button as your special abilities because. You know, you could, you could fuck up, you're in a tough situation, you could fuck up, you can't do the attack, and then you're gonna die just because you can't do the attack. Okay? No, they should have left that, that third button in there, okay? They should have left it in there, they should have not tucked it out. You know, and also, you know, they could have did other things with the other buttons, but I'm guessing they just only wanted to make this a two-button game, Okay? But, um, you know, the gameplay is a little bit fluid, not that much, though, you know, but it's really good, though, you know, but, um, the only thing is, um, you're gonna die from cheap-ass enemies, that's it, you're gonna die from cheap-ass enemies, because they're fucking cheap, and get ready to see the same enemies over and over again. Uh, the enemies change when you beat, um, you know, like, a lot of stages, okay? Just saying, though. Um, I guess, let me get on to this. Uh, sounds and music, okay? Uh, sounds, sounds are pretty good. Music is pretty good. You know, the, the, the tunes are memorable, you know? Um, do 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 and of course, uh, you know, you know, that thing, that score, of course, and I guess many like uh, many um, tracks in this game, of course. You know that in itself is good. All right. Um, mainly the style and graphics in the game. You know, I like that it looks like the cartoon and the comic book a little bit. You know, it's fucking awesome. You know, uh, very beautiful graphics in the game. All right, very beautiful graphics for a game that came out in. Uh, I don't know, probably 1994 or 5. I don't know when this game came out, but yeah. You know, everything is real nice about the game, but um, the only gripe that I have with the game, and it's going to get downgraded to, you know, 4 out of 5, is, you know, the, the lack of lives. Okay, seriously, you only have two lives in the game. And the only way that, that you could get, like, more lives if, if you collect the, the blue X, okay? If you collect all of those. But, um, you know, I think it's pretty fucking stupid. I think it's fucking lame that you have to collect those, okay? 
Uh, you're gonna die a lot in this game. Seriously. Like, you're gonna fucking die a lot. You're gonna see the game over screen a, a lot. You're gonna fucking go fucking crazy from this game. Okay? You know, if you are gonna play this game, um, have a state, a uh, save state on you. Seriously, have a save state on you. Alright, but, um, anyways, overall, the game gets, uh, four out of five, and I am out, all right, um, check out the game, pick up the game, but play it on a emulator, okay, because you want to save state the game, because how fucking hard it is, all right, I'm out, peace.